Hey everybody, I'm about to show you a cool video tutorial on how to make a super cool Halloween prop. It's a smoke ring cannon, or it's kind of like a variation on an airzooka. Let's get started, I'll show you what you need. All right, so to get started, you need a tub or a garbage can, something like this. This was about six bucks at the local department store. I'm using a cam buckle strap, an inexpensive shower curtain, a couple of PVC fittings, a little bit of a length of pool uh, vacuum hose. There's another PVC fitting and a uh, PVC pipe and then of course you need a fog machine. I'll show you a way to do it with dry ice as well. Fog machine is the coolest. So the size of all of this stuff depends on, in this case, the size of the outlet on the smoke machine which is an inch and a half. So an inch and a half inside diameter. That's what size this pipe is, an inch and a half. And then the tools you need, a uh, set of pliers, some wire ties, a sharpie, and a knife. So um, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach this to here, attach the elbow onto here, and that will attach to the pipe to create the smoke to go into the cannon chamber. I'll show you how to make that cannon chamber right now. Check it out.
Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, that's pretty cool, but who the heck has a fog machine? That's why I'm going to show you a different way to do it with dry ice fog. And we'll see how well it works out. I've actually never tried this way before, but it's got to work. What you're going to do is boil some water. That's going to be key to getting the best dense fog out of dry ice. It's starting with really, really hot water. You're going to put that into a bucket. Make sure it's a good thick bucket so that it doesn't melt or something like that. Then you're going to put the dry ice into the bucket with the hot water. Now dry ice does create pressure. I'm not liable for you passing yourself out. If you breathe too much of that, it'll starve you of oxygen. You could die um, or just pass out. And whatever it is, be careful with it. Dry ice is definitely not something to be toyed with. I'll show you how to do it. We'll try it out. Uh, as we can see with the dry ice, it doesn't quite shoot rings as far as the fog from the fog machine does. But the idea is, you're kind of just trying to simulate something spooky. When you open up the door, you blow a few smoke rings out before you give the little kids some candy. It kind of looks like a little ghost dancing about. But the really cool thing about it is not only can you see the ghosts, but with this uh, air zooka is kind of what it mimics. You can feel the ghosts too. To give you an idea what that's like, I've got uh, my wife's decorated the chandelier here with some mummy bandages. I'm gonna put the camera on the mummy bandages and shoot the smoke rings at the bandages and you'll be able to see them not just move from the wind, but actually jump when that smoke ring hits them even though the smoke is dissipated. So it's pretty cool, check it out. 